Hey guys, welcome to the top 10. Let's walk my top 10 favorite Final Fantasy characters. Final Fantasy is my favorite video game franchise, PlayStation franchise. I love Final Fantasy. I have played pretty much all of the Final Fantasies. Um, I haven't played all the, like, the tactic games. I haven't played uh, Crystal, uh, the Chronicle, Crystal Chronicles. I played Crisis Core, but not Crystal Chronicles. I've never played like some of the old, like the very first Final Fantasy. I haven't played some like the uh, you know uh, portable Final Fantasy games. Some of the side games. I've never played eleven, and I never played thirteen too. I played thirteen, but not the sequel to thirteen and shit like that. And I haven't explored the Final Fantasy like. F I explored a little bit of the Final Fantasy XIV online, but not really a lot to go in depth. But most of the Final Fantasies I've played, and I love the Final Fantasies. I've done a whole top ten of my personal favorite Final Fantasy games. These are characters. These are my favorite Final Fantasy characters. This is straight biases. This is just my opinion, my personal favorite characters in the Final Fantasy franchise. So if you disagree, that's okay. That's okay. This is just my biased opinion. Let's get to it. And as always, for top 10 list, you gotta have your honorable mentions. My honorable mentions are Yuna from Final Fantasy X, Lulu from Final Fantasy X, Tifa from Final Fantasy VII, Balthier from Final Fantasy XII, Cecil from Final Fantasy IV, Renoa from Final Fantasy IX, and Zell from Final Fantasy VIII. Love those characters. Just gonna be the top 10 list. What did my top 10 is my number 10. My number 10. Is Prince Noctis from Final, Fantasy, from Final Fantasy 15. Final Fantasy 15 is the most underrated Final Fantasy because a lot of people were a little off putted by this. They call it like the boy band Final Fantasy, road trip movie, doesn't seem very epic and grand as other big epic story, fantasy, medieval storytelling like a Final Fantasy, X, a Final Fantasy 10 or a 7 or an, an 8 and stuff. Some people still even say Final Fantasy 15 was not great strongly disagree loved this game loved the brotherhood relationship these people had and how they dedicated their lives to protect the prince prince noctis i love noctis as a character i think noctis is a really great character he always tries to do the right thing he is not perfect he does make mistakes as one does but so yeah he's not a perfect character he's a flawed character who makes mistakes but he grows he grows as a character and his journey is just a fascinating journey and the sacrifices he has to make for the good of his people and again he goes through so much like he goes through pain suffering but happiness and friendship and love and just he goes he's a hero's journey that you just love to go on and when you embark on his journey and go through all the things he goes through and see all the things he sees and go and just it's just incredible and i just really like noctis as a character is he a perfect character no he's definitely not in my top five but i still love him and i think he's a great character number nine is another main character from a big final fantasy game and that is zidane from final fantasy 9. <laughs> zidane is uh more of a cocky i guess kind of hero but still a really great hero and still a really good protector of Renoa and stuff, and I could have went with like Steiner, uh, Steiner, sorry, and really like him too. But I love Zidane, and I love the weapons you use in the game. I love the look of him, and I love that he ha he has a young, immature attitude, but he grows so much as a character. And when you learn more about the backstory of Zidane, he becomes more and more of an interesting, fascinating character. And just yeah, I, I always thought like when I first started playing Final Fantasy IX, I never thought I would actually even like Zidane as a character, but he just grew so much on me, and just, I started loving him. He became one of my favorites. He's not better than my number eight. Though. My number eight is VV from Final Fantasy IX. VV is the heart and soul of Final Fantasy IX. He is just so lovable. He's funny. He's got great magic, great abilities. I love the look of him. I love there's this, this mystery to him. And just, I love that he's always in to do the right thing. He wants the right thing to happen for the world. And he wants the right thing to happen on this journey. And 
He is the voice of reason. He is probably the most intelligent character in the entire group. And just, I love him. I love Vivi. He's he's adorable. He's great. I love how he's designed. It's, it's Vivi. I love Vivi. Number seven is another main character from a big Final Fantasy game. That is Squall Lionheart from Final Fantasy VIII. Um, I love... I like Cypher and I like Zell. But Squall is the best character in VIII. I love Squall's journey. I love that... He's a man of few words. Almost in a way like Cloud Strife, but Cloud Strife's better. <laughs> but Squall is a man of few words. And when he does say words, it's very powerful and very meaningful. And again, a character who has a lot of layers and a lot of mystery and entry towards them, I just enjoy and love more. And just the mystery of Squall just makes me love him so much. And I love his coat. I love his sword. I, I, again, I love his journey, and I just love his genuine, genuine attitude towards things. He's a bit sarcastic, but he's also, he's on board for any sort of journey, anything that he's up to, and again, he's just like every hero of the story. He just wants to do the right thing, and just save lives, and just make the world a better place. And just, yeah, love Squall. Number six is Orin from Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy X is a game loaded with great characters. Like Titus, Yuna, Lulu, Waka, Kimari Ronso, Riku. Uh, I love Jack and Seymour's a great villain. Orin is my favorite. Even as a kid, I loved Orin. I just always thought Orin was such a badass character with his like big red coat, big sword. He uses like the one arm for his sword and stuff. And again, he has a lot of mystery towards him. And he's the one that brings Titus into the into into the past. No, into the future. Of when he shows him Spira and stuff, and the world Titus knew is destroyed, and is Titus and Orin themselves really there, or are they just dreams and memories from the past and stuff? And just, Orin is plays such a vital role into the Final Fan, into Final Fantasy X. Not only was he is he Yuna's guardian, but he was her father, Lord Braska's guardian as well. And he just saw a lot of horrible things happen. He witnessed his two best friends, Jackson. Lord Braska dying, and he has to do this journey again, and he knows this journey is not going to end well, but he has to do it, because that is his job. He made a promise to his two ch his, his two best friends that he would protect their children, Tevis and Yuna. And I, I love Orin. I love that he's a very, like, stoic person, and he's he's also pretty quiet, but he's, he, he's a man on a mission, and you can just tell, just by looking at him, he's gone through the ringer and he is gone and he has seen some fucked up shit love Orin though number five we're getting to just strictly final fantasy 7 now because final fantasy 7 i'm a bias it's my favorite so number five is zach from final fantasy 7 slash crisis core mostly crisis core because he wouldn't have made he would be an honorable mention if crisis core didn't exist <laughs> And then probably Zell would make my number 10 then. Uh, but uh, Zack, I loved him as a character in Final Fantasy VII. And he's basically the soldier story that we all know. That cl Cloud's memories of him being an ex-soldier -sol of Shinra is actually Zack's memories. And Zack's the one that was partners with Sephiroth and died by Sephiroth. Oh, not died by Sephiroth. Was almost killed by Sephiroth, but then killed by the men of Spira. Uh, Spira. I'm mixing up all the Final Fantasies. This is what happens. Killed by the men, the soldiers of Shinra. He was shot and gunned down with Cloud, but Cloud ended up surviving, and Zack gave Cloud his buster sword, and, you know. But, um... Uh, a crisis core just goes into more depth than layers of Zack and his story, his backstory, him with like Angeal and stuff, and with Sephiroth, and and then he has a relationship with Aerith and everything. Like crisis core just made Zack a so much better character and a more lively character, and they just fleshed his character out so much. I liked him in Final Fantasy VII, but crisis core is where he really shines and when you play final fantasy 7 after you play crisis core the death of zach makes it more tragic and just more heartbreaking and i know a lot of people are really excited for the next sequel to the final fantasy 7 remake because apparently maybe zach's alive and i still don't know how i feel about that but i'm very intrigued where they're going with zach's story because zach's definitely one of my favorites number four my favorite female character in all of the final fantasy franchise and that is Aerith from final fantasy 7 
slash Final Fantasy VII Remake. Final Fantasy, I'll talk about Final Fantasy VII Remake because her Final Fantasy VII Remake is the best character. They did her so well in the remake. I just loved it. The voice actress, the uh, the attitude, the the designs, just the whole just presence of Aerith is just perfect. Absolutely perfect. And I just love how sweet and innocent she is in the remake and her relationship and friendships with Tifa and Cloud and even Marlene at the end. And just, you can tell she's meant for something big and she has a destiny about her, but she doesn't want that destiny. She just wants a normal life of peace. And she has a big story, and obviously in the original Final Fantasy VII, and it just it ends so tragic. It's still, hands down to this day, the most tragic death scene in a video game. So let me fix that. And just, yeah, I love Aerith to death. I love her. She is my favorite Final Fantasy character. Female Final Fantasy character, sorry. Number three is Red Thirteen. Love Red Thirteen. He is a specimen of Hojo, Hojo Kree, and not... Uh, is he a specimen of Hojo uh, or something? He's a specimen. I know he's a specimen. He grew up in Cosmo Canyon and lost a lot, lost his father and everything. And he's like this pretty much like kind of cat, big cat almost in a way. He's got like a really cool tail, scar across his face. I love Red 13. Always loved him. He was always one of the few people that I always put on my team and Final Fantasy VII, the original. I loved him in the remake. The voice actor does a great job. Just, just the sheer coolness of him. And when I was a kid, I like... One like a pet, like Red Thirteen. Just something about Red Thirteen just always was cool to me. It's still his days. He's one of my favorites. Number two is the greatest villain, not just in Final Fantasy, but the greatest video game villain ever. That's Sephiroth. Sephiroth from Final Fantasy Seven is an incredible villain. Downright maniacal and vile, but you understand why he is so angry and just pissed off at the world, and he just doesn't even believe his own existence and why he is even on this planet and this world and it just his hatred is so vile but you kind of understand him and you and somebody's got to root for him because he's just so kind of charming in a weird way and just i don't know some of those Sephiroth just that he's such a amazingly written character that I, just, I love everything about him i just absolutely love Sephiroth and They've never, there's never been a video game villain more compelling and interesting than Sephiroth. Just pay it easily. But yeah, you all know my number one. It's uh, Cloud Strife. Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII. Cloud Strife is one of my favorite video game characters of all time. Like, Cloud Strife, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, Laura Croft, Nathan Drake are, like, all my favorite characters in video games. Just, I love Cloud Strife. I love his journey. I've talked a lot about him, so I'm probably not going to go into much in depth because I've talked about him in other videos, but... Just... The, he almost goes through almost the same damage, psychological damage, as Sephiroth, but chose the hero's journey instead of the villain journey. And that's what makes Cloud a great character. Cloud has suffered and gone through so much heartache and terrible things, like Sephiroth. But he chose to be good. Sephiroth chose to be evil. And that is why their intertwining stories go together so well. And the two of them bump heads they have both suffered, but one is taking it out on the world and killing innocent people, and one is just trying to make the world a better place. And that is why the yin and yang of Sephiroth and Cloud is just so amazing and so epic. And I gotta side with the good guy, Cloud Strife. Favorite video game character ever. So those are my top 10 personal favorite Final Fantasy characters in my opinion. So in the comment section, below, please tell me, did you read this top 10 list? If not, give me guys top 10 favorite Final Fantasy characters. Comment below, let me know, and as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and join the dark side.